Welcome back. Hour two of the Sports Click. It's happening right now. 810 CBS Sports Radio Orlando. I'm Brian Winnegar. That's Grayson Gregory. To my left, Danny Stoopy, newest edition of the Sports Click. And join in studio with doctor and author, Dr. Edwin Lee. Doc, thanks for uh, joining us. Hey, thank you for inviting me. In studio. Uh, this is good stuff because I mentioned you are an author and we're here to promote your children's health book, uh, Your Amazing Heart, and pretty much the importance of getting kids the information early that heart failure, heart attacks are preventative, and making it an enjoyable learning experience at the same time, and that's what you've done with this book. That's correct, and um, uh, before I even, I'll I'll go into a little more about the book and how uh, it can help your kids in terms of them learning on how to be healthy and to have a heart-healthy life. But I'd like to start off with that um, I just got a, um, a message or, um, um, from my friend of mine that has a 14-year-old son that was overweight. He loves to play sports, mm-hmm. but uh, he just loved to eat a lot of sugar. And uh, despite working out, he just had struggled with his weight. And he read the book. He realized that he didn't want to die early at a young age. He lost 40 pounds. It's actually on my website. You can see before and after pictures. And, and that's an amazing experience because you changed this individual's life by, right. crea- by creating that mindset of, uh, of being healthy. And, you know, you mentioned that he, he's active. He's only 14, so his metabolism's going. Yet he was still overweight because of what he was eating. How much is it the eating and how much is it anything? It's pretty much eating, right? Eating yeah. poorly. Dying. Exactly. It's really what we put in our mouth, and it's right. it's majority. It's uh, it's it's um, all the it's junk that we put in, and there's it's, there's a lot of contaminated foods, a lot of preservatives, and a lot. Unfortunately, a lot of parents take their kids to fast food restaurants, and there are very few healthy things there. There are some grilled se- mm-hmm. chicken salads, or or just, but which a lot of those are more have more calories than than the double cheeseburgers. Well, it's not necessarily, <laughs> unless you put tons of dressing and all that. But sure. you can eat health. I mean, there's some few select things there. But regards to the book, Your Amazing Heart, it gives the kids three secrets on how to be healthy. And very simple. Number one, secret one, is huff, puff, and sweat. You have to exercise daily. And that's the key. Go out, have fun, play, sweat. Um, unfortunately, a lot of... These generation is, you know, they like to play video games. Mm -hmm. My kids love to play video games. But the thing is you have to, you know, go out and have fun there and uh, get their heart working and pumping harder. The second thing uh, is, the second secret is you need to basically eat less sugar. And in this book, there's like a little time machine where it shows like 10, 20, 30 years what happens if you eat too much sugar, what happens to the heart, and what a heart attack actually is. Right. And they get it. Um, because kids these days, or even in the past, you tell them, don't eat too much sugar. They don't get it. They, right. It's like, why? They need to know why. And you can start at an early age. And, and I have this book read at preschool. And what's interesting, the kids at preschool, they'll say, well... That's not a healthy lunch. That's not a heart healthy. Good. Lunch. So you're putting it's that mindset where it's that's Start a bad early. thing, right? Exactly. You know, it's that's not cool healthy. to eat unhealthy. Exactly. It's um, and then the third secret is uh, about a healthy heart is eat more vegetables, and uh, that's you always what, hear that, so it's true. It's true. Okay. You, and if you don't like to eat it, yet you, you can drink it. And there's some there's right a cool juice recipe. it. Yep. yep. Exactly. So v- three very simple secrets on how to have a healthy heart. It comes in a um, a paperback version. Mm-hmm. Um, also a Kindle version, but the the book that I'm really proud of is the animated version on Apple iTunes, and you need an iPad to view it. Which and all the kids pretty much have nowadays, it, <laughs> majority. Yes, majority of the kids. <laughs> or they but, know someone. And what's amazing is that uh, there's each page is interactive and it's cool videos, and they just there's a little humor to it. So it's a little different than the paperback version, but... Um, they can understand. It's the same story. Right. right. If they want to find it on iTunes, what do they search for? They just type in your amazing heart. Your amazing heart, and it should pull right up? Exactly. That's fantastic. I think it's great, especially for... Now I feel like I'm the old guy. I'm like, back in my day, I used to go out and do these things during the summer. I used to go out and skateboard or surf, and I just wasn't inside. And I think it's great that you have the interactive version because they're just... They're inundated with it from such an early age with the iPad, and they know the systems almost better than us, so I think it's really great that you've incorporated it into that so they can also learn and make it fun while they're learning about it as well. We're here with Dr. Lee, doctor and author of Your Amazing Heart, a a book to pretty much teach 
kids how to prevent heart failure. And it's really simple. Three steps. Uh, get out. Exercise. You know, and, and I would say it's not even the kids as much as like the adults don't know either. Because I mm-hmm. remember seeing it was a meme one time, and it had the the sodas that we drank and all the juices, and then a clear plastic bag with all the sugar that's in there. And when you look at it that way, you're going, "Oh my gosh, I did not know I was consuming that much sugar in just a 12 ounce soda." So I think it's not only the kids, but the parents don't know what they're doing either. And it sounds like by you teaching the kids, they might be going home and telling mom and dad, uh, maybe we shouldn't be doing this or that. Right, because doctor, like these kids, they're going to eat what their parents provide for them. They can't, they don't have money. They can't go out and make their own choices. So you're right. I mean, educating the parents and making it, because kids are picky with what they eat, making these kids say, ah, that's not cool. I'm not eating that. You know, back in the day, it was like, I don't eat my spinach. Now it's hopefully I don't want to eat that double cheeseburger. Exactly. Jeez. It's really, this book opens a discussion for the family to what healthy eating is mm-hmm. and how to be healthy. And it's this very simple illustrations and or video animation that actually shows what happens over time. So it's actually not only designed for children, but also for adults. Because I show this to my adult patients and I say, look, you're going down this path. You don't even have to read. Just look at the pictures. <laughs> right, right. And then after, you know, after like 10 pictures, they go, how do I measure plaque? Because it's plaque that actually um, can build up. And if that ruptures, you're going to have a blood clot. You'll have a heart attack or stroke. So it's really plaque is the, the, the devil. And there's a special ways to measure plaque. We offer a special ultrasound. It's non-invasive. It takes 15 minutes. That can save your life. There was a famous uh, heart surgeon that died in Orlando. He was in around mid-50s. And he was really healthy. He mm-hmm. was thin. He was an athlete. He loved to run. He ate healthy. But if he'd had that 15-minute test to see how much plaque he would had, that could have saved his life because you can reduce plaque, and that's the key. You can reduce plaque. It's easier to treat that than after treating a heart attack or stroke because that, that may be the major one that gets you, the right. major heart attack. Wow, and it's just a 15-minute? 15 15-minute 15 test, and it's called a carotid intima media thickness test. Um, it's CIMT. CIMT is the abbreviation of carotid intima media thickness test. It's a little different from a carotid ultrasound that looks at how much blockage you have. We're looking at in the walls of your artery how much plaque that's building up. And unfortunately, as a triathlete and also a physician, Mm -hmm. um, I've ate a lot of junk food in my life, and I've ate a lot of fast food restaurants. I have some bad genes, and when I did the test, I was shocked. I was considered high risk for heart disease and stroke. And I told the tech, you did it wrong. Do it next week. Sure. <laughs> so each week, I would, the right. numbers were like really high. And I said, no, you did it wrong. Damn it. Do it again. Yeah. Uh-huh. So after four times, I was like, oh, I'm, I, I may have this issue. So I went so to Miami. So the test works is what you're saying. Exactly. Oh, shoot. Because I wanted to double check the machine. <laughs> sure. And uh, I did it elsewhere and it came out the same results. So, so how can people schedule an appointment with you? Because uh, They can call my office and they don't have to become my patient. Um, but if you want to measure plaque... Um, and to see if you're high risk or if you're low risk or average risk, they can call my office at 407-363-9665. And we offer that test on Mondays because uh, I only have a tech once a week that mm-hmm. comes to my office. But if a lot of people come, I can get another tech to come more often. Now, we're here with Dr. Lee, who is an author of Your Amazing Heart, which is um, a children's book to get them to, to understand um, the benefits of also I mean, benefiting adults, we found sure, out, too. Sure, sure. And I think that's that's what we're learning right here. I mean, geez, you, your practice offers a, uh, a a test for plaque, which builds up. You mentioned this cardiologist uh, here in Orlando who died. Actually, a heart surgeon. Or a heart surgeon, surgeon. I'm he sorry. He was a heart surgeon that who actually- Who was healthy, who ate healthy, who exercised, but yet had so, too much plaque. Um, doctor, what can you do to prevent this? I mean, what is there any things that, we could, that you can do, really? Yes. Um, actually, in this book, you can see the plaque buildup and the plaque rupture, and then the, and what's going to happen is the, you're going to have ischemia. Or Those are great pictures, by yeah, the way. Yeah, exactly. And uh, you're going to eventually have a heart attack or stroke. So the number one thing that kills most people is sugar, 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 because that spikes dang it, up dang that it, dang it. <laughs> hormone called insulin, insulin, insulin. And insulin is like broken glass that goes through your blood vessel, and it starts that inflammatory process, and it lets cholesterol go into the wall of your artery, and that starts forming plaque, and it starts building up. So the key is the people who have the least heart, um, they actually live the longest, and they actually are really healthy, are the ones that basically have very low insulin levels because they rarely eat 
um, or consume sugar, including soda. So, you know, when you're drinking that can of Coke or you're having your energy drink, which, which you know, it's just really ridiculous, <laughs> mm-hmm. you're just going to cause early heart disease because that insulin is sky high. Well, Doctor, thank you so much for that. We're going to have to have you back on. Sure, I'd uh, love to. Dr. Lee, author of Your Amazing Heart, uh, go on I- the iTunes store. Or a- Apple iTunes, or you can go on Amazon.com. Call his practice for 407-363-9665 on Mondays only to get your plaque check. Uh, exactly. Because you could be healthy, you can eat right, do all the right things, yet still be at risk for something like this. Doctor, thank you so much. Thank you. That was good stuff.